literally guys the plates were like this big i'm like what appetizer is gonna fit on this small plate i'm like maybe like a truffle like a truffle would fit on that plate hey guys welcome back so before we get into the rest of this video i just want to give a huge huge shout out to savage x fenty for partnering with me for today's video you guys know i'm a savage x fenty ambassador and it's been going on two years i think since i've started working with savage x fenty and honestly you guys i love working with savage x fenty so so much they're all about body positivity and feeling confident and sexy in your own skin i love how their sizes range all the way from extra small to triple x it's so crazy to think that before savage x fenty came around it was so uncommon to see such a big size range savage x fenty applied pressure to these brands diversity has now became the norm size ranges has now became the norm and i honestly respect them so so much for that and i'm so proud to say that i I'm partnered with them you go on their social media pages you go on their website and you just see so many different body types highlighted and celebrated and i just love that so so much i also love that savage x fenty always has all these new collections and as a savage x fenty ambassador i get the perk of being able to try on everything for you guys and show you guys all their new collections so everything you guys are going to be seeing today is from their new collections and i'll have everything linked down below for you guys to shop so make sure you guys click all the links down below so you guys can see all the pieces if you're interested in anything and as always leave a comment for me down below and let me know what's your favorite set that i'm showing today or your favorite piece also you guys can use my link down below to get two bras or bralettes for 29 dollars plus 50 percent off half off your entire first purchase which is such an amazing deal so make sure you guys click the link down below and let's get into this try on haul this first set i have to show you guys right here is by far my favorite i'm starting out with my favorite first and it is this pajama set if there's one thing you guys know about me I love cute pajamas. I live for cute pajamas. If I go to sleep looking frumpy, I already know my next day is just not gonna go the way I wanted to. Again, everything will be linked down below for y'all. I'm a medium in the top and the bottom. And I love how you can adjust the drawstrings on the side so you can crop it a little bit tighter. It's super flattering, super comfortable. And again, I love going to sleep cute. I swear there's just something about it. You wake up in a better mood the next day. But we have the cute little matching shorts. So fire, by far my favorite. I can so never go wrong with a classic black set. And this one, you guys, the robe, you guys know I love Savage X Fenty robes. And I love when they go all the way to the floor. I just went ahead and paired that robe with this black balconette bra. So if you guys didn't know, balconette bras just cut a little bit lower. And then also I love that it has this gold Savage X logo on the side. And then I also paired it with some black high-waisted panties you guys know my favorite word um i just went ahead and paired it with these and it really just like kind of holds your stomach in so i really like the cut of these guys this next set right here such a gorgeous shape i'm telling you this purple color is doing something for me today i love this set so so much it is so flattering it is this lilac purple um laced unlined bra i always say this about savage x fenty their unlined bras are so so flattering so if any of you guys have a bigger chest as well i feel like a lot of us tend to avoid padding because it almost makes our boobs look too big you know what i mean like sometimes when i'm wearing a push-up bra i literally feel like a stuffed cabbage sometimes i don't need all that padding i don't need all that extra stuff i just need something to support the girls and this bra does just that again love the gold little savage x logo charm next up we have this boost and thong situation and can I just say I love this color combination I've really been into orange and pink lately you guys saw that bag I bought not too long ago a few videos ago I've really just been loving like pink and orange I feel like it's so different so fun the straps of the bustier and the matching thong are the same as this beautiful floral lace and last but not least we have the same collection over here but this instead is just a little unlined bra and it is so cute and different you guys I love this floral detail as you guys can see the cups are a little bit like different in shape. They kind of go a little bit slanted. But again, I love how creative and fun all the collections are at Savage X Fenty. You guys can get two bras or bralettes from Savage X Fenty plus 50% off, half off your entire first order by using my link down below. So make sure you guys click my link down below to get your discount. If you guys haven't tried Savage X Fenty yet, what are you waiting for? Y'all are missing out. So make sure y'all click the link down below. Good morning, y'all. I don't know in what world, what version of Nas thought it'd be cute to take a 7 a.m. Pilates class. Who am I? If you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys remember, I would sleep until freaking like noon. Today is Sunday. I'm proud of myself. I got up. 
I went to Pilates at 7 a.m., guys. Like, you have to be in the class started at 7 a.m. So I got up at, like, 6 a.m. Again, on a Sunday. That's the key word here, on a Sunday. And I'm very proud of myself. It's just so hard to get into my Pilates class just because it just books up so quick. There's only 12 machines in the room. So I have to just squeeze in wherever I can. And I'm proud of myself. I really am. I'm not going to lie. The alarm rang. I looked at the clock. It was 6.30, and I was like... Do I just want to not go? At first, I was just not going to go. But again, like I paid for the class. So I'm like, I don't want to waste money. And then also, I feel bad because that would have meant I just like took someone's place in the class that could have been here. So I got my ass up. I'm proud of myself. I disciplined myself this morning. I was like, nope, you're going to get up. You're going to go. Had a great workout. Again, it's only 8 a.m. I have the whole day ahead of me. But I just want to have a chill Sunday in. Like This is just going to be a chill, relaxed Sunday. Bunny? Daddy's already in here with you? Good morning. Good morning, oh. bunny rabbit. It's like it's too early, huh? I just took a shower. Mm. Not used to me smelling good, huh? I always smell funky. Uh. <laughs> you usually smell like a hard day's work. Shut up. Guys, I just went down a rabbit hole, okay? I've spent $800 in the past two hours on home decor. What is going on? Like, I literally just came on my laptop to get a table runner. You know that little thing you put like going down the table, the piece of cloth? And I ended up sp spending $800. Oh, well, I'm not mad at it. Everything that I got is like long lasting items. It's things that we needed in our house anyway. Honestly, a lot of the things that I ordered, if we had a wedding, we would have gotten, you know, like from our wedding registry and stuff. But I really just like want to have nice kitchenware and dinnerware. Right now our plates are from Ikea. Again, nothing wrong with Ikea. We've been using these plates for years. They're great quality for the price, but I just wanted something more like chic. Um, when I have dinner parties now, I want to have that look. Like I want to have the, it's called a charger by the way, like the plate charger, then the dinner plate, then the salad plate. And you know, the little cloth napkin with the napkin ring. Like I want that look when I have a dinner party. And I don't know if I mentioned this, I think I mentioned in our last video, but Mel's parents are coming to visit in the next few days. And I feel like that's just like the energy you get when your mother-in-law is coming to visit. You wanna just like freshen up everything and make sure everything is like nice and clean. Again, not that his family cares, but you know, just for me and myself, even when I just have dinner parties in general, like I wanna have like a nice, dinner setup you know what i mean i don't want to just be eating off of paper plates you know there's a time and place for paper plates you know a cookout we can do paper plates but if we're doing like a nice dinner i want it to be on like nice plates kitchenware and all that jazz so i actually just placed an order on crate and barrel by the way if i was to do a wedding registry as you guys know i didn't have a full-on wedding but if i was to do a wedding registry i would definitely have registered at crate and barrel they have so many amazing items you guys and all the reviews are like Everything just lasts for years, very good quality. Um, so I placed a huge order on for pickup at Crate and Barrel, which is great because I can pick it up today and show you guys everything that I bought. And I also placed a large order on Target for pickup as well. So later on today, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up everything so I can show you guys. So I was wondering what I was gonna do for this video anyway, because I told you guys it's like my chill Sunday. So I was like, what am I gonna film anyway? But this is perfect, now I can do a little home decor haul. So let me finish up this order on Target. SOS, y'all. We need help. This kitchen right now, so you guys know I've been in the cleaning mood. So once I start, I can't stop. I cleaned out our pantry. So I went on Amazon and I ordered even more of these like clear bins and the racks. Um, we just have like brooms in here and stuff. So I got like broom holders, um, like Lazy Susans and all that stuff. So I just went through the pantry and I threw out so much. I threw out so many expired like food items. Um, obviously it doesn't look fully organized because once I get the bins, all this stuff will be like properly organized in the bins and stuff like that. I also cleaned out the fridge real quick because Mel went to the grocery store. I am so exhausted because as you guys know, I got up hella early to work out and this is literally so much stuff you guys. I have to put all this stuff away and I am just trying to muster up the motivation. I did realize I didn't drink any coffee this morning. I did have a pre-workout, but I might as well just drink some coffee to kind of get me through it. You guys know, like coffee, I feel like it doesn't really do anything for me. Caffeine doesn't really affect me at all, but maybe the placebo will work and I'll think that is giving me energy and it will help me get this done. I want to give you guys a little tip for what I do when 
I'm like overwhelmed and I keep on dilly dallying on getting something done. Like literally it's been 20 minutes and the kitchen pretty much looks the same. So when I get in a mood like this, the only way I can get myself to complete a task is to set a timer. I'm constantly setting timers, you guys. If I'm like cleaning up the kitchen before going to bed or putting away laundry or whatever the case may be, if I set a timer, like that's the only way I'll be able to focus and get it done because I'll literally take forever. So I'm gonna set a 20 minute timer and it's like because I'm kind of competitive, so I always try to like beat the timer. So that's how I get something done. So just set a 20 minute timer and now let's actually try to clean this mess. Guys, I just did these cans and it's driving me crazy that this label is facing this way and then this one's facing this way. Should I change it or am I doing too much? Babe, am I doing too much? Okay, so am I, ooh, he almost tripped. Am I doing too much? The labels are going this way and those are going this way. Should I change it? <laughs> I care. Mom always thinks I'm being extra. Okay, if, I'm, if I have the motivation when I'm done, I'll change it. Guys, I didn't beat my alarm. I failed. Just kidding, but we have only a little bit left anyway. Huh? Open the door. Clean up, clean up. Clean up, clean up. Guys, I literally just hear water splash and I'm like, what did Vaughn do now? And I run over. And he's literally scrubbing the floor with the sponge going, that's when he makes that noise, he's saying, clean up, clean up. So I was like, guys, that's literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. Like I was ready to be like, what did Vaughn do now? Oh my God, look at him. No, no, Vaughn, mommy has to put stuff away. He, Vaughn loves to close things, guys. Like he keeps on pushing this back in. Open up Vaughn's neck. Vaughn. Scare him. Aww, guys, he wants to help me do the dishes. This way? Yeah. Here's what the fridge is looking like. Got it nice and organized. I also prepped some chicken salad. I did that off camera because at this point I'm embarrassed by how much I eat chicken salad. So I had a rotisserie. I just mixed it with the seasoning, mayo and sour cream. Also, you guys saw me chop up the melon. And then we also have our grapes washed and prepped because y'all know us. If we don't have our fruit ready to go, we're just not going to eat it and then it's going to go bad. But our fridge looks so good. I threw out everything that went bad and just organized it. And then once my... Bins for the pantry come. I'm gonna go ahead and organize the pantry as well. Where's the light? So yeah, once my bins come, I'm gonna go ahead and organize all of this. What's up everyone? As you can see, I'm in the car right now. So Mel, Kayvon, and I took such a good nap, you guys. We needed that nap 
so so bad we all slept beautifully i wake up and it's like 5 30 and crate and barrel closes at 7 so right now it's like 6 10 i'm still wearing my house clothes i literally just ran out the house because i didn't want to be late and i wouldn't have been able to pick up my stuff today and we have such a busy day tomorrow so i'm like i really need to get it today just pulled up to crate and barrel i'm pretty sure those plates right there you see those two plates in the front i'm pretty sure those are the ones that i got they're called the mercer plates but I really like how they have them displayed like that. That's so cute. But as you guys can see, they have little pickup stations. So all I had to do was go to the email with my confirmation. And I just clicked I'm here. And they're going to bring it out. So luckily with Crate and Barrel, they have like a contact list, like curbside pickup. So they're going to bring the stuff out to my car. So that's why I didn't bother like looking cute. I just, you know, literally just ran out the house. Um, where are you parked? Spot two. It's so cool. You literally just text them your car. Um, Tesla model... I wish I would have put on some moisturizer when I woke up and my lips are so dry you guys If you guys could see it through the screen literally my lips are so dry. Ow! I forgot I'm wearing extensions I have extensions right here, and I just try to like push my glasses back that hurts so bad here Gotta do it like you got to feel around for them. Oh, they're here. Hold on Well, not both fit. Okay, here. I'll open the back one too Just put it right here Thank you, you too. Okay, just picked up the goods from Crate and Barrel. Now I have to go to two separate targets. I have pickups at both locations. Then I also have two items being shipped. Guys, I can barely talk. My lips are that dry. Like, is there no lip balm in this car? Like, please tell me there's something. Okay, so one of the targets I'm picking up from is a mile away. We're at Target numero uno. Just at the drive up space. Now I'm at Target numero dos kind of hard to see from here i'm just waiting it's my last stop for going home i'm gonna eat some dinner i am starving but guys this whole drive up situation is so convenient why haven't i done this before guys it's actually been a few days since you guys saw the rest of the footage which is why my hair looks a little different but I finally have a moment to show you guys everything that I got from Target and Crate and Barrel and I actually had to stop by Crate and Barrel again and I got a few things in store because I actually ordered the wrong glasses and I ordered these like small appetizer plates that went with the set that I got and literally guys the plates were like this big i'm like what appetizer is gonna fit on this small plate i'm like maybe like a truffle like a truffle would fit on that plate. So literally I was like opening them up in front of Mel's mom and Mel's mom was like, what exactly you're gonna put on that? I'm like, air, that's what you're gonna put on it. So I returned that and in place of that, I actually got a few vases and I'm so glad I stopped in store because these vases, you guys, they had this whole like setup of their new vases and they're so gorgeous. These are actually gonna go up on our shelves around our TV and they are just, they're so, so beautiful. So I got this vase right here. Look at that, or is it Voss? I know some people say Voss, some people say Vase, but this is just so, so gorgeous. It is this bone and nude colored vase. I also got this one right here to go next to it on the shelves. It is a smaller one. I love the shape of this one, and I think they look so good together. And I'm gonna probably put this on like the top of the shelves because those are still empty. And then I got another vase that Mel just loves so much. He already put it up on the high shelf already. So I'm gonna show you guys in another clip what that one looks like, but it's so cool. It is like the sphere looking, you know, vase. It has this cutout in the middle and it's also that same nude color. It's so beautiful. So now here is the plate set that I picked up from Crate and Barrel. So again, these are the Mercer plates. So I got the dinner plate as well as the salad plate, I believe. And I got 16 of each and I already ran them through the dishwasher. They're already in our cabinets and we've already been using them for the past few days. But guys, these plates are stunning i love them so much they're so big i love how it has these raised edges on the side so you know if you're eating something that's more like liquidy it kind of catches it on the side but they're just so pretty and again it's so funny that when i was taking these out the boxes mel's parents were like we were looking at these plates too like we were actually going to order these plates as well again if you guys are looking for a nice plate set for the house or if you're doing your wedding registry this is a great plate set to get it is also dishwasher safe is it microwave safe it's microwave safe they're just 
They're stunning. I love them so much. Also from Crate and Barrel, I got these plate chargers. Apparently that's what they're called. They're not called place masks, they're called chargers. And I got these specifically for our outdoor dining table. And these are just so, so pretty, you guys. And I'm actually gonna insert a picture. I just did a little mock-up of everything that I got so I can like see what everything looks like together. And this is like the perfect size for the plates and they just look so, so pretty. So yeah, I got these for our outdoor dining room table. I'm still looking for some for our indoor dining room table. Uh, I just haven't found any that I really love. A lot of them are like too gray or I don't want it to be like this woven material for indoors. Also from Crate and Barrel, I got these napkin rings for our indoor dining set. So this is just where you put the cloth napkin, you just roll it up, you put it through. And I just thought this would be such a nice touch whenever we have dinner parties or a more, you know, upscale dining experience instead of just using, you know, paper napkins. We can just use cloth napkins. And this is the napkin ring for it. I'm actually gonna show you guys what it looks like. So I'm just putting the cloth napkin through it. As you guys can see, it's a nice little, obviously I would do this nicer if it was for a dinner party, but it just holds the cloth napkin all beautifully. Just rest this on top of your plate set and it looks bougie it looks classy no i got one more thing from crate and barrel but i'm going to show you guys outside because i already set it up but i got it for outdoor dining room table as well and then also from target let's move on to target speaking of napkin rings i actually got these for our outdoor dining table so this is for our indoor dining table the silver ones and then for outdoor ones i got these woven little napkin rings and it just looks so pretty with the plate charger and i love that it gives that like kind of earthy outdoor vibe like i've said a million times um so speaking of the napkins that i got i got two packs of these cloth napkins from target they're by the brand threshold so each pack comes with four napkins but yeah they're just your basic cotton napkin and i really like the shape i like the size it's very nice and thick um it feels it feels expensive. It doesn't feel like cheap fabric. So I really, really love these napkins as well. I haven't ran them through the washer yet, so I hope they wash really well. But so far, I'm a really big fan of them. They're really cute. Yeah, I got three packs of those napkins. Then I got some more kitchen towels. These, I think Yasmin got these for her apartment, and I just thought they were so pretty. They're by the brand Project 62. They're just also in that nude bone color, and they have this really beautiful, you know, detail on it and imprint. And I just thought these would look really nice in our kitchen. Also from Target, I got this really cute little cake stand, cake holder. I still have to take out the plastic. This is just some foam around it. So it's just this wood color and then the clear um, top. But whenever we do have desserts in the house or pastries, we always just put it like in a Tupperware or we put it on a like little plate with like foil on top and just wasn't really that cute. So I thought this would just be a nice little addition to our kitchen and anytime we have little, I don't know, like muffins or leftover cookies or a cake or anything like that, we can just keep it in here instead. And it was just, I think it was a really good price too. How much was this? $19.99. It is by Hearth and Hand and... I don't know. That's what happens when I online shop. I just buy a bunch of things that I really don't even need. So pretty much what else did I get? There was one more thing I got from Crate and Barrel that is on back order. It's going to take a minute to get here. But I think that's pretty much all I got. Like I got like a whole, you know, like plate set. I got the charger. I got the napkin rings. Let me show you what I got for outside real quick. So this is another item I purchased from Crate and Barrel. So it is just this metal tray. So I got this again to be the centerpiece for an outdoor dining table. By the way, I don't mind the like AC and all that. It's so loud right here. But I also ordered these stones from Crate and Barrel as well. And these candles, you guys, if they look familiar, these are actually the same candles we had in the hospital room when I was giving birth to Vaughn. So they're electric, um, no, battery powered, I meant so. These candles are really cool because you just flip the switch and they'll turn on. But yeah, I basically used um, one and a half packs of stones from Crate and Barrel as well. They're just these really pretty like grayish neutral pebbles. So here are the shelves around our TV. I pretty much have all of them finished except for these two on the ends. Those were the two that gave me like the hardest time. So that's where I put one of the vases. So that's one of the vases that we got from Crate and Barrel that I told y'all Mel already put up on the high shelf so I can't get it down. Um, and I'm going to put the other two over on that side and then also probably another set of books or something else to put next to it. So yeah guys, that's everything that I picked up from Crate and Barrel and Target, and I'll try to link down below as many of the items that I showed today in the description box for you guys. And again, don't forget to check out Savage X Fenty and use my link down below to get two bras or bralettes for $29, plus 50% off your first order. So again, make sure y'all check out the description box down below. And thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you again for our next video. Bye guys.
Thank you.